What's up Paradise Crew? So, title of this video, as you can tell, um, we got a bunch of questions about this one. Um, in the comment section, Alyssa, you've been getting a lot of messages about it, mm -hmm. and I was, I was avoiding it because the, the transparent answer is it felt eerie, kind of scary, kind of just, just a, just a, my heart goes out to the family. And I wasn't going to make a video, but mainly all the comments and stuff coming through of what happened. Did the cruise line, did Royal Caribbean address it? Um, so we're going to answer those questions of what it's like from our experience here. Um, but I do know that um, someone is being missed. My heart goes out to the family. Um, mainly didn't want to talk about it. Probably, mostly because... Um, I like to think that people on the ship watch the show, watch the channel, and to then watch your favorite YouTubers relive something like that. I've just kind of avoided it. But um, Alyssa, what are, what are your thoughts? So what has happened so far? I really don't know how to address this. It feels weird. It does feel weird. So all we know, and it was only from, actually someone made a, comment on our video uh, about it and that's how I found out and then I had to google it and there was an article um, that someone took an independent shore excursion so they did not book through Royal Caribbean they, they booked on their own um, to a place near Rose Island in Nassau to go snorkeling mm -hmm. now um, my immediate response to that was, I would never go there. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Um, only because of all of the, I mean, there there have been other shark attacks in that area. And so that place always kind of freaked me out. We actually wanted to book something over in Rose Island a couple of years ago because it was one of the places nearest to Nassau that had pigs that you could swim with, and Cullen's always wanted to do that. Um, but after hearing about the sharks, I was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm not going to do that. But, um, you know, shark attacks are very few and far between. So it's not like it happens all the time. Yeah. But it has happened in that area. And that kind of gives me enough to be like, okay, we'll probably don't. Enough to doubt there. to not want to do it there. Sure, sure. But um, but they they went. And, of course, like that was, like I said, years ago. It's not like it happened recently. And so there was a woman from our um, ship that was attacked by a shark, which is extremely unfortunate. They did say that they were able to save her from the shark and they took her on to land, but by the time they got to the hospital, she was pronounced dead. So that's very, very sad. That is very sad. Um, as of us on the ship, the only way we've, we've heard of it is by looking on the internet. Yeah. And so they've not made an announcement about it. Um, nobody's really talking about it on the ship necessarily, other than people that I've seen in like the Facebook group for this sailing. So there were a couple posts about it, people sharing the article, giving thoughts and prayers and condolences. Um, and then we did, I did read that someone said that before we left, they saw people's uh, luggage being taken off. So I would assume that that would be a luggage from the family that decided to stay on the island and not here on the ship. But according to all the other articles, it does say that Royal Caribbean is working with the family and making them as comfortable as possible, whether or not, because it said that it was a family of five, so whether or not everyone got back on the ship or got stayed off the ship, I don't really know. Like I said, we don't know any details, but from what I've read the news articles. So it does sound like Royal Caribbean is trying to make it as comfortable as possible for them. What, what that means, I don't know. But um, they are aware of the situation. They just haven't made it public to everybody on the ship at this time because it's kind of a very interesting topic. Yeah. Situation. Situation, for sure. Um, but yeah, so that's what's happening. Um, Thank you, Alyssa, for articulating that way better than what I could have done. Um, she's been reading the stories and stuff. But yes, those messages and the stuff kept coming through through our Instagram and a bunch of comments. But it did happen, and it, did, it does feel weird knowing that someone on the ship is no longer here with us. And so someone's vacation has went 
completely south than what they originally intended. Uh, yeah, I don't think that that's what they intended. Yeah, for sure. Um, segwaying out of that, we spent some time at the pool deck, did some tastings and testings on mocktails, mm -hmm. um, and had an interesting situation in regards to the blueberry <laughs> nojito on a much, much lighter note. Um, we've ordered the blueberry nojito at least... Well, yesterday alone was like four, four or six times, right? It was four times. Well, every yeah, it was four times, and every time it was different. Every time it was different, and so Alyssa decided to. Uh, she's been ranking drinks on Instagram like like crazy. It's been fun to watch. She gives like her honest opinion, and so the blueberry nojito, ten ten good, super delicious, and so I'll let her tell the rest because she is the best, and so. What happened next, my love? Well, let me tell you about the story. So, like Colin said, I've been ranking the drinks, the mocktails, because a couple people have asked, like, to show the mocktails, because there are a lot of people that don't drink. There are people that are pregnant, that are going to be cruising, that want to have a drink, that can't enjoy alcohol. Um, and so I've decided to take it upon myself to rank the drinks that we have, uh, because I'm not necessarily a mocktail person, you know, mm -hmm. like when we go out, I order cocktails. Um, so I wanted to like, I was like, okay, this is going to be fun, a little bit different. And d in this story, I did rank the the Blueberry Nojito a 10-10 because the one that we got at Bolero's last night was delicious. Like it was perfect. It tasted like a blueberry mojito, right? Without the alcohol. Um and so I put a disclaimer, though, because I said we ordered this drink four times up until that point, and every single time the drink tasted different. Now, we were at different bars, different bartenders were making them, but overall it was not a consistent drink. Like, it, well, the first time was really sweet. Like, it tasted good, and not, I'm not saying, like, none of the drinks tasted good, but, like, they just were different. The second time Cullen ordered one, it tasted like straight lemonade. Like, it didn't taste like blueberries. Um, there was no mint at all. I was kind of confused at what they brought him. Um, the third time was when we had the 10-10 drink. And then the fourth time we ordered it because it was so good, a different bartender made it at the same bar, and it was just drastically different. So I was like, I'm just so confused <laughs> at what's going on. Oh, and that time he almost poured vodka in our drink. And I was like, what is happening? Yeah, put vodka. <laughs> I was like, oh, we can't have that. <laughs> we can't have vodka right now. And so. I want it, but I can't have right, it. Right, can't, I can't have it. Also, vodka doesn't go in a mojito. Uh, that's <laughs> just as plain and simple as it is. Um, so we were like, okay, that's really weird and interesting. So as I'm ranking these things, I'm doing it for you guys too, because like I said, a lot of people want to know, and I don't want you to get on the ship and ask for a blueberry nojito and say, oh, I know it's going to be perfect every time when it clearly has had some issues. So uh, that's what I put. I was being super honest about it, right? And not expecting anything else to happen. <laughs> Well, guys, something happened. <laughs> <laughs> something happened. Something happened. Colin and I were chilling on the pool deck, literally just ordered another drink. Um, I ordered, like, one of those frozen mojitos, which are mind-blowingly good. They're very good. Um, virgin. And Colin ordered a pina colada with strawberry. So good. It was so good, right? So we're waiting for the drinks to come, chilling, minding my own business, and to... Um, crew members come up to us and introduce themselves as um, some higher ups in the the, the drink bar tending I forget I forget what their titles were they were up there they were up there essentially like the the managers of yeah. like the whole ship right of like food and drinks anyhow so I was like oh hi what did like at first literally my thought process because we, we've we worked with Royal Caribbean a lot, and, you know, we've been tagging Royal Caribbean in our stories. I was like, okay, well, you know, they just recognize that we're on the ship. They ha He had, like, two cups with him, and I was like, oh, he's just introducing himself. Like, nice to see you, because he said Mr. and Mrs. Griffin. I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, like, you, they watch the channel. Well, that wasn't necessarily no. the case. <laughs> um, he was like, so we heard that there were some, like, um, 
what what was the word that he used? Inconsistencies. Inconsistencies. With the blueberry no I was like, oh, <laughs> oh my no. god, oh no. <laughs> they found her. So they were, well, they were watching the stories because yeah. I was tagging them in it. But here's here's what I will say: Royal Caribbean is excellent at getting feedback and trying to fix it in the moment. Yeah. Because this is actually the second time something like that has happened to where I said something that was like, I mean, just feedback. Like, it wasn't like I'm mad about anything. Like, I was just like, okay, well, this is what it is. And they've, like, come up to me like, okay, well, can you just tell us about the experience? Like, can you give us, like, some information and, like, some feedback? And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, cool, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So we just kind of explained, like I just did to you, that we've ordered the drink a couple times and blah, blah, blah. And um, he's like, well, can you, like, share, like, how... Because I was watching them, how, how they make it. I was like, yeah, well, this person did it this way and this person did it that way. And so what they said was, like, their goal for the day was to make sure everyone in the bar knew how... Like, at a bar, knew how to make the blueberry nojito, which I thought was very funny. But then they also gave us these cups and gave us the refreshment package for the rest of the cruise. <laughs> which, like I said, I didn't expect at all. Like, I was not asking for anything i was not like oh well uh, i deserve this no yeah, absolutely nothing. not we have diamond drinks to use the whole cruise yeah so knew, we were good anyway you know, i knew that i wasn't going to use all those drinks for the whole cruise anyway but i just thought it was it was a very fun situa- fun funny situation for us to be in today but um but thank you royal caribbean for always listening yeah because that's that's kind of cool that's kind of cool yeah now the last topic of discussion tonight. And I can save this for tomorrow because this video is already 12 minutes long. Um, but the Aqua Show tonight. Should we include that in the actual vlog? Or or, or save it for say, show them now? The people showing up three minutes late to the show. Oh. You want me to save that for the vlog? Yeah, you can save it. Alright, we'll save that for the vlog. And so, guys, thanks for tuning in tonight. Um, I say tonight, but this morning, right? 11 a.m. Uh, the cruise has been phenomenal. It's been great. It's been great. Alyssa's been resting. She's been eating. She's okay. been sleeping. Um, Ma- mainly eating. Mainly eating. So go follow her on Instagram. <laughs> Check that out. And um, I'm just soaking it all in, looking at my amazing wife. I'm growing so, a human. <laughs> growing a human. So uh, thank you guys for watching the show. Smash the thumbs up if you haven't already. But as always, if you dig the vibes, please subscribe. <laughs> you almost said it. I almost said it. And if you carefully share, and we'll see you in paradise tomorrow. Peace. Bye.